questions, if you would, raise your hand, we'll call on you. Anybody? <laughs> up here to the left. Coach, what can you share with what you told the team after the game? Well, you know, basically I, I told them that um, we, we just played a, a really good football team. And the reason that they're the number one team in the country. And that um, uh, I was proud of, of uh, um, the effort. We didn't always do everything right. But I, I, nobody can say that this team quit. And that, uh, you know, early in the season, um, you know, in, in any game like that, there's going to be a winner and a loser. And it's not what uh, happens to you right now. It's, it's how you deal with it from here on out. You know, last year we were a team that was dancing around in their field and, and having a good time. And, and um, they probably felt like we feel right now. And I said, you know, you got no greater example of, uh, of how to handle one game than, uh, than the team in the other locker room. Uh, they went on to be, have an extremely successful season. And, um, you know, we got, we got a lot of football ahead of us. We got nine more games. We're playing uh, for the right to play for in number 13 and 14. And, and so, you know, right now it, 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 it's pretty difficult to get through it. But by Monday we, we got to get back to work. And, and, uh, and our goals are still out in front of us. Down front to the right. Kevin, uh, Mike Evans had such a great game, but he seemed to be under control the second and third quarters or something Alabama did to take him away in the middle part of the game. It's hard to say he was under control when he had 270 yards. You, you want him to just play like that every quarter, huh? I guess I, I don't even know what the answer to that question is. We'll go, we'll go to the back. Back left. Go ahead. Coach, whenever you guys were down 35-14, it, it, it looked pretty dire at that point. What did you learn about, about your team and, and the way they fought back? And uh, You know, this is what I said. I, you know, this, this team, if, if you get one thing out of tonight, is that um, the posture of this, of this team is one that uh, is not going to quit. And, um, you know, without looking at, at the video, there's a lot of things that we certainly have to fix. Um, you give uh, Alabama a lot of credit. That's a really good football team with skilled players and, and some veterans in key positions. You know, a veteran quarterback, real speed on the perimeter. As I said, T.J. Yeldon is proven back. Uh, and guys in that defense that have been in big-time games. So, you know, uh, some people may, have, may or may not have shut it down. We don't have to worry about that with this football team. And because of that, you always have an opportunity to win, and that's something that um, um, you know we've we've harped on since we've gotten here, and um, you know it just wasn't enough today. And, but you know all that being said, you got to give Alabama a lot of credit. I mean that's that's a good team, and um, you know they've gone and played and um, you know on the road really in Atlanta a week ago against the quality Virginia Tech team, came in here and uh, what a great atmosphere we had today. I. I I want to say thank you to to our fans at kickoff. That, that place was was uh, was beautiful, and uh, you know that energy level. Um, you know we, we fed off of that early, and um, it's what makes Cal feel one of the great places in the country to play. Go to the back right. First, can you go back and elaborate on how Evans wasn't limited today? Or What's that? Can you go back and elaborate real quick on, no, on I mean, Evans' performance? He makes plays. He's you know he's in there. Tired and laying laying down, and you know he might have to have an IV. The guy played played his tail off, so you know he, he's a he's a uh, six five guy that that can run like a five uh, eleven guy. He's two hundred and twenty five pounds, and and uh, you know you look at some of the some of the situations uh, where basically he was double. There's a man underneath and a man over the top, and. Uh, you know, we're able to run the ball effectively in the third quarter because of that. So, you know, there's always going to be, uh, you know, you take the, the second drive in the, in the third quarter, and uh, I think we, we ran it 90% of the time because of the, because of the defense, because of some things that he created from a, a, a uh, he created schematically um, in the secondary. So, you know, he, he creates some, some 
just because he's not we're not throwing him the ball. There's probably a reason for that. We're probably able to do some other things at that point. We'll go to the back left here and then down front. Coach, obviously, uh, you know, the big question that everyone wants to know is your assessment of Johnny's play today. No, I, I thought, uh, you know, his play was um, Johnny-like. You know, it's, it's just that's about the way to put it. You know, if, if anybody who's seen him play, that's, uh, that's about right. And, you know, he... he Scrambled around, made some plays, but he we he was in the pos pocket. He was efficient. Um, you know, you, you you look at the two interceptions. One bounces off a guy's head helmet, and he was open. And the other one, you know, it's you know we probably could have run a better route. You know, so um, he took some chances, got away with a couple things, but um, obviously he he kept some plays alive. But I thought he he also stood in there and. Uh, particularly in the red zone, made two or three really good throws and reading coverages. And uh, so, you know, he, he like um, a number of other players today, gave us an opportunity um, to be in the ball game at the end. And um, we just couldn't make enough plays to, to, to close it out. Andy, the lower right. Coach. Kevin, through all your preparation, could you have imagined a scenario where you scored 42 points and didn't win the game? Um, you know, uh, I've, I've been in this business for 26 years, so I've seen a lot of different games. And uh, um, I probably wouldn't have thought that, but once you get into those games, it's just how it is. You know, and, and uh, whether it was in the Big Ten or, 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 or the Big 12 or, or even the SEC, you know, if you get into those types of games or Conference USA, whatever, um, that's just the way the game's playing out. So, um, but, uh, you know, I, I don't think anybody probably saw that coming. Um, but, uh, like I said, that, that's the kind of game it was. And, you know, you give them credit. I think that uh, their, their attack, they were able to run the ball, but, you know, they made some big plays on third downs and, and took some chunk, some yardage plays, chunk plays to keep us off balance. Jerome, left. Hey, Coach, you talk about the couple of plays that, Johnny got away with, et cetera, and your offense played so well. Could you ask for much more from him, or could you? Could they play better? I mean, well, you know, we 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 turned it over a couple times. So anytime that happens, um, sure you can play better, you know. And and uh, um, had a couple penalties that stopped us in the uh, uh, probably second or third quarter. Got us behind the chains. Uh, really limited to, limited um, our opportunities, you know, with a couple penalties. But yeah, we, we've got to continue to get better. I think uh, you know you win and lose as a team. And uh, um, to answer your question early, you know, if you, you get in those types of games, uh, you just have to adjust and be ready to go philosophically, offensively. Uh, you know, I, I think that uh, we have the opportunity offensively to play a couple different styles. I think we were able to. You know, no, no matter what the score was in the third quarter, you know, settle down and get into some two tight end formations and run the ball uh, effectively to try to um, get the coverage back to, to the numbers that we need. So I think the thing that, that we were able to do today was, was be diverse in our attack. And that's going to pay dividends down the road. Last one, KO. Coach, obviously you haven't looked at tape, but is there any one thing glaring that you immediately want to start working on? Well, we, you know, we got to get uh, we got to get uh, some things shored up in our front defensively. We're playing a lot of guys in there, a lot of young guys. Uh, Stansberry was back, uh, and and Jinx was back. A little rusty. Um, we didn't have um, Isaiah Golden today um, because of the tragedy earlier this week. So. Uh, you know, put a lot of pressure on Hardrick in there to, to, to handle that, that type of stuff and with Kirby. You know, we just got to get those guys in a routine, a steady routine and a rotation and shore some things up up front and um, um, get, them, get those guys the same amount of reps that, uh, that they've, you know, they've, they've been back for a week. So um, we'll, we'll be fine schematically. We're all right. We just we, we got to get our guys playing a little bit better up front. All right, Coach, thank you. Thank you.